down the drink. Keep it going. 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 Yes. I just put a drink on you. I'm so sorry. That's water. That's water. Don't kill me. Yo. Good to be here. I didn't know so many people was here. This is crazy, man. It's crazy shit, bro. Good luck on the candle, bro. All right, so this morning was interesting. I smoked some weed. I like to wake and bake. And I went for a little jog around my block, right? And I ran into this lady who was giving out what would Jesus do pamphlets, right? So she tries to pass me a pamphlet. And I'm like, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, lady. Like, look, I don't got any pockets. And I mean, I had some pockets. And she saw I didn't have pockets. But, you know, she just left. I thought, like, two minutes later, like, yo, you know what would be crazy? Is if I did a comedy sketch on people who were giving out Jesus pamphlets in the park at random mornings. So, I jogged around my block for about five minutes just to find this lady. When I finally found her, I was kind of sweaty. And I was like, hey, lady, can I get that pamphlet? And the look that she gave me <laughs> was the look of Jesus Christ. Just got to this man's heart. I've never seen somebody that happy in my life. She looked like me when I got my PlayStation when I was seven years old. I was like, oh my gosh! Praise the Lord! I was a little bit hot, so I was a little bit late on her enthusiasm. I was like, oh shit, this is, this is not some weird fetish thing going on. I'm like, oh no, I see what's happening. I said, you know what, lady, look, I just realized something. I have pockets now. Look at this. I took the pamphlet. It was great. I think Johnny Bravo was a fantastic, fantastic show. I was on some, uh, some Johnny Bravo today. I didn't feel like going to work. That's all I had to do with my time. And in the episode, Johnny Bravo's mom told Johnny to go into his closet to get on some better clothes. And uh, he walked into his closet, and he had a whole very closet full of black t-shirts and blue jeans. I've never noticed that cartoon characters were the same shit in every episode. <laughs> Come here, mommy. <laughs> Come here, baby. Hmm. How did that shit make it on Cartoon Network back in the 90s? That shit should be illegal. That's Adult Swim for sure. <laughs> like, they was putting me on game before I knew what game was. <laughs> I like to go to a place called The Virgil. If any of you guys go to that place, you're horrible people. That's where people just go to be sluts. So I mean, it's nothing but like half the crowd making out and half the crowd trying to make out. That's all it is. I like to go to the Virgil and act like Johnny Bravo, but be more slick with it. I like to just walk into the middle of the dance floor and stand there and mean mug. Because it just throws people off. Like, who's this nigga with a Coogee sweater just standing here looking cool as shit, but not dancing or nothing? Like, he's, he's black. He got a hairline. He looks so high. Why is he not dancing? <laughs> White women always love that shit. Shouts out to all the white women out there. They always give me the number. I got like a minute left. Almost have to leave y'all with this. Look, Snoop Dogg with the whole gin and juice shit. That shit was fake, man. Gin and juice is.